to the search for an injured animal in the Sacramento River. Marine experts say that they need your help tracking down a sea lion with a fishing hook in its mouth. Yeah, poor thing. It was yeah. spotted near the Tower Bridge today. CBS 13's Valina Jones is live with what we all can do to help out, Valina. Well, that's right. You know, marine experts tell me that they are relying on people to help spot this injured sea lion that was found here in the Sacramento River earlier today. And they say even if they do, it might not be easy to get to them. These guys can cover miles and miles and miles in a day. Far from the ocean, this California sea lion is lugging some baggage with them along the Sacramento River. We're not certain where that hook is lodged. If it's lodged somewhere superficially, like in the cheek, that's a much better prognosis for the animal. People passing by spotted the hook sea lion near Tower Bridge. Dave Zonizer and his team at Marine Mammal Center are keeping a close eye on a fish hook that seems to be stuck right in the adult sea lion's face, averaging around 850 pounds and seven feet. Zeinheiser and his team can't just scoop them out of the water to relieve them. These types of responses are complex. Uh, it's a very large animal. It's an, an area that is innately risky. Being around water is risky. Uh, trying to contain an animal can be risky. While the response team monitors his movements, health, and condition to determine their next move, Zeinheiser says it's not uncommon to see sea lions this far up the river. We think about how far we are from the ocean, and it's not unusual to see adult male sea lions up that far away. Food is abundant. It's not the first time an injured sea lion has been spotted nearby. Sergeant Nevis, seen here at Six Flags in Vallejo, was shot in the face back in 2009 by a fisherman in the Sacramento River, even undergoing reconstructive face surgery to treat the damage. Luckily, this guy has a much better prognosis. That body condition, uh, the health, the robustness of the animal, all very much in his favor. Zeinizer tells me they are trying to get eyes on the sea lion as soon as possible to get a rescue crew out to take a look as soon as tomorrow. Now, if you do see the sea lion, you're asked to call the Marine Mammal Center, and we will put that information on our website.